Hi there guys, welcome to the channel. Um, so as you can see, we are somewhere completely different. So we are at the garage, DBS Limited, and what we're doing today is we're restoring our mini city. Uh, so guys, as you can see, the car has been primed and it is ready for paint. Um, but basically, as this is mine and dad's project car to do up, we want to take the engine out, get it turned over outside of the car, just so we can start, hey, start doing the actual, all the pipes, getting all the pipe work out, so that we can eventually lift the engine out, um, and start cleaning the interior of the engine bay, start doing the underneath of the car, we want to seal it all up properly, and then we'll see where it takes us from there. So guys, let's see how we get on with it. Next bit I'll show you is once we've got the engine lifted out, what the inside is looking like. Just to give you a quick tour of the engine now. As you can see, it is so rusted and I hope by the time we finish it, it will be completely clean. And then also here, guys, you can see the interior has been fully stripped out. All the doors have come out as well. Got the interior there. And of course, we've got our wheel arches and everything, which we need to spray and stuff like that. Guys, just in the interim, to show you some of the back scenes. We've got Mr. Allen, as you saw in the video before. So he's just currently just getting chipping away at the engine slowly. And just for you guys to see that the dad will literally take on any job. Rebaba, what are you doing here? We're fixing up a scooter now. See? Dad likes to take any job on. So, guys, what's happened is one of our loyal customers, their son had bought this scooter. And unfortunately, the mount broke from the top of the handles. Um, so, yeah, we even do repair jobs like that. Hey, guys, so bit of progress now. As you can see, we took the subframe off with the engine just because we thought it'd be easy to clean it and then get it back in. Uh, but that's not the case. We realized we left a couple bolts out and a bit of water's got in the engine so we're gonna have to take it all apart unfortunately and take the subframe back off um so it's quite annoying let me just give you a tour around the engine real quickly obviously you can see there the coil oil filter down there um but look guys after jet washing it i don't know if you can see but underneath all the dirt and the rust this engine was actually painted fully yellow and also noticing that the back of the brakes were yellow as well. So it looks like this had a spray job before. Um, it might have actually been a yellow mini at one stage. Um, so yeah, we're going to take off everything. We're going to give them a clean up with the brush tool. Uh, just make, like polish everything up, get all the dirt off of it. And then yeah, we'll take it from there. So we'll see what the next step is guys realistically i should have filmed it um but yeah guys just because we've been cracking on with it i've just not had the time um so yeah next step getting it clean and getting it back in whether or not we've got time as well we do have a lovely customer car here as you can see it has got some rotiforms on it as well um so yeah if we do have this in for a couple of days i will show you the work on it uh, but that's just a little project on the side as well. Okay, so we're back again. So what we've done now, we actually removed the subframe from the engine. Um, and what we've done was we got rid of all the rust and everything. As you can see, it's cleanly painted. So yeah. So guys, as you've seen now, we finished off with the subframe. And now what we're going to be doing is we've got the, the engine out of the Mini. What's going to happen now is actually is as you can see here let me take a tour around it so you can see where the yellow underneath was so we're going to take out all the spark plugs we're going to take out every element the alternator the coil we'll take out the oil filter and what we'll do is we're going to brush this off with a brush uh, with an airline as well get it really clean to the base of the metal and then what we're going to do with the whole engine and the fan you can see is we're going to fully respray it so we've figured out that we're going to paint the mini in the great british flag so that will be all over the car so we're just going to debate whether we paint this in the british flag color as well because it might have that value when we sell the car or we might just paint the solid black make it look brand new um so that is it guys um, once we start taking off a few parts of this 
I might video a few of us working on them um, just because I know I've not had the time to actually video while working on it because of course guys we are at work so it's quite difficult at the same time um, so don't forget this is after hours work but yeah guys let's have a look at the next step and as you can see the not so expert trying to paint brake calipers like a right twat and we'll see a funny blooper in three two one and action well oh, oh what was that oh what the hell look at you look at you getting all worried trying to film yourself like a professional painter <laughs> guys i hope you enjoy this small clip of me trying to show you how i'm painting calipers even though i don't have the one i'm painting currently in shot hey what a great workman at his work and can't even edit the videos properly well showing you how the caliper was cleaned and with the first layer of red paint of course guys after this there was another three layers added to finish it all off hey guys right now it's a bit of time i wanted to show you how we clean the pot so because we're working with metal and we're not using like the airline which is a lot of power we use these brushes here which as you can see are just on a gun and all this brush does is get all the debris off it gets all the oil off it gets all the dirt off so right now i'm just cleaning the alternator so look guys as you can see no, let me turn it around, just so you can see properly. Right, so you see how dirty this top section is? Look guys, I'm just gonna give it a clean here, yeah? It's on there. You see guys? And it's cleaned all the dirt off down to the bare metal again. So yeah, that's what we're basically doing with all the parts. And then eventually, when we've got all of that clean, it can go in that bad boy. So yeah guys, a lot of cleaning to do before all the nuts and bolts go back together and we can get this all finished up. So I'll speak to you guys soon. And guys, what I will have coming up, oh, oh nice one. Good bit of dirt that dad, didn't it? There we go. <laughs> Right guys, so yeah, on the next videos, I'm going to give you a tutorial of how Dad sprays. And honestly, this man is the top man when it comes to spray. Look at that. Yeah, right guys, so what Dad's doing now is primering. So it's the under seal basically of the paint, it's the base. So it what holds the paint onto the bumper. Um, so yeah, as you can see, Dad... The best boss at work. So yeah, guys. Of course, in the next couple of weeks, we'll have more. Um, yeah, basically spray jobs coming up. But for now, of course, it's the mini restoration. And yeah, currently still with a brush tool, getting rid of all the rust and rid of all the dirt. Yeah, let's make them new. Guys, I know this one's completely out of context, but through COVID, we have seen an increase in vape sales and, of course, tobacco from people being bored at home and wanting to, you know, indulge a bit more. So this is just from me to you guys. I, as I am the owner of a vape company, please send me a message and we can give you discounts. Thank you very much, guys. Thank you. So basically, guys, it's taken me ages to clean stuff because Dad didn't trust me with the hardcore machine and now look how it's polishing <laughs> dad wait wait let me show the guys let me show them look so look at my one guys dad flick it right right so guys that's my cleaning there and now dad using the proper tool look how shiny it's got there so yeah basically doing all those parts here so as you can see you've got the manifold there you've got the outside cover of the gearbox and clutch and the other manifolds and fuel pump so yeah basically probably gonna spend another two three hours cleaning them again great <laughs>